Hey guys, this is Will here. Thanks for stopping by. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the love and support I can get from y'all. Today, we are going to talk about how to stream your Steam library to an iPad or iPhone or basically an iPod Touch, whatever Apple device that you actually have that can run it. So awesome, let's go ahead and go through this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is find Steam Link, which the link will be down below. We need to go ahead and download this. You get this from the App Store. Once downloaded, we will open it. We would like, yes, we want to use Bluetooth. I already went ahead and connected my Bluetooth controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller. Just a quick little reminder that we want to use iOS 13 to be able to use PS4 or Xbox One controller. So what it did was it auto scanned to connect to the computer. It, it, how it did that was through the network that I'm on. So it found my computer. So here on, ooh, that was fun. All right, so here on my computer, it's asking me to enter in that code. So here I am, I'm gonna hit okay. And right now what it's doing is it's testing the network. It's seeing at what speed it can basically run stable at. And uh, I got fairly significant strong Wi-Fi. So I think lately it's been close to 100 megabytes per second that it's been able to uh, run comfortably at. So hopefully that is the case. Okay, so cool. Network test completed. It says 100 megabytes per second. So we're ready on the iPad. Now, if you don't get this far, you can go to your desktop. And if you go up here to settings on Steam, go to your remote play settings. And then you have to make sure that enable remote play is enabled. You have to make sure that is checked. And see here, it actually shows my iPad. So perfect. I don't have to change that. We went ahead and we were able to connect. So at this point, all I have to do is pick up my controller. And then for me, I hit A on an Xbox controller and here I am. Now it's not showing my full library. What it's showing is the games that are optimized for remote play. Also, I have a Bluetooth controller so you can see in the, the corner of each game, it's showing the controller there. So it's also only showing games that are optimized for controller. So we can go ahead and we can load up a game And here we have it. We are, I'm using the Bluetooth controller and I'm controlling the iPad. And I am actually playing on my iPad. My monitor is still displaying what's happening, but the controls are all done through the iPad remotely. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple process and I, Honestly, I've been taking advantage of it. I know a few people uh, like myself, whenever we get a little downtime at work, I think it's kind of nice to be able to relax in a simple way like this. So it's, uh, it's definitely nice to have options, but that is it. So there you have it. You have your Steam library running on an iPad, which I never thought would be possible. Let's be honest, Apple doesn't play nice. <laughs> but it works and it doesn't even have to be on the same network. It can be on a different network and it, it just it's it's like tw we're gaming in 2020. I love it. So next thing you need to do is subscribe to see my next video of what headset you need to buy. Y'all, thanks for stopping by. Oh, my Texas is showing. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.